Hey guys, welcome back to Bob Mup Chem. This video is slightly different from the style of videos we've done previously. There's going to be no pop em ups in this video. It's more of a definition video as Unit 5 has quite a few different enthropy definitions and I just want this to be a reference point for everyone. This is by no means intended to be an exhaustive list of all of the enthropy changes and their definitions. Some, like lattice enthropies, I've omitted from this video because we're going to look at them later in the unit in more depth and there's some more nuance there. But apart from that, we've got the major ones here. Before we get started on the enthropy definitions, let's look at standard state conditions, SATP, as represented by this little circle with a line through it. Any enthalpy change that happens in these conditions happens at SATP, the standard conditions, that's pressure 100 kilopascals, temperature 298, concentration 1 moles per decimeter, and the state would be the physical state of the substance at those conditions. Now let's start looking at enthalpy changes. So enthalpy change of reaction, or delta HR, is quite simply the enthalpy change associated with the reaction in the molar quantities that its stoichiometric equation denotes. For example, one mole of hydrogen plus half a mole of oxygen makes one mole of water, and that has an enthalpy change associated with it of minus 296 kilojoules per mole. So you'll see a theme throughout these that the name is a little bit of a clue. So for enthalpy change of combustion, or delta HC, that is the enthalpy change associated when one mole of a substance is reacted completely with excess oxygen. So mind the one mole here, so we take one mole of C2H6 would react with 6 over 2 moles of oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water, and the enthalpy of combustion associated with that is minus 1560 kilojoules per mole. So if the enthalpy of combustion was the enthalpy associated with burning something, the enthalpy of formation we would expect to be making something, and indeed the enthalpy of formation is the enthalpy change that takes place when one mole of a substance is created from its elements in their standard condition. Indeed, the reaction I already used for the reaction of one mole of hydrogen with half a mole of oxygen to form one mole of water is actually a representation of an enthalpy of formation and has that value of minus 286 kilojoules per mole associated with it. So as we're seeing, these definitions can be quite specific and that is true of the enthalpy of neutralization also. This is the enthalpy change associated with the production of one mole of water when we react an acid and a base. An example of this might be HCl and NaOH produce NaCl plus H2O. So the key here is that it's actually the number of moles of water that are produced that determine the definition. Indeed, if we look at the underlying ion equation, we see it's just H plus plus OH minus, and for a single molecule of H2O, the value is always the same at minus 57 kilojoules per mole, at least for the reactions of strong acids and bases. Enthalpy change of atomization is just that. It is the enthalpy change associated with producing one individual atom of an element in its gaseous state. The most simple example of this would be just taking oxygen, O2 gas, and producing O gas molecules. So that would look like half O2 gas goes to O gas. And that has an associated enthalpy of minus 249 kilojoules per mole. The interesting thing about this is in this example of a diatomic element, the bond energy table in the data booklet actually gives us these values indirectly, and that's going to be useful later on in the unit. Enthalpy of hydration, and that's delta H, HYD, is the enthalpy associated when we take one mole of a gaseous ion and then we dissolve that in excess water. For example, Na gas 
goes to Na aqueous. The amount of water in excess here is very large. In this case, we have an enthalpy change associated with that of minus 406 kilojoules per mole. Similarly, enthalpy change of solution also involves a large amount of excess of water. The enthalpy change of solution is the enthalpy change associated with one mole of a substance being dissolved in excess water. And we, for both of these examples, assume that excess to be almost infinite. And that means that any further added solvent would produce no further heat change. This can be something as simple as dissolving salt like NaCl in water to make it NaCl aqueous. And the associated enthalpy change with that, for example, is plus 3.9 kilojoules per mole. Not very large, but potentially something we might expect considering water is a polar solvent and ionic compounds are charged and therefore polar solvents dissolve polar solids. I hope you find this video useful. Thanks again for joining me guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and as always, practice makes slightly better.